Every epidemic, regardless of its particular factors, spreads in uh, essentially the same way. It's the relationship between the pathogen, which is the infectious agent, the host, which is the organism being infected, so uh, in this case, humans, and the environment within which those interactions between the pathogen and host are happening. Every epidemic can be traced back to some kind of a shift in the relationship between those three factors. I think the, the biggest unknown right now in terms of the host, the pathogen, and the environment, this epidemic triangle that we're constantly tracking to understand whether an epidemic is gonna spread or not, in the, in the case of 29NCOV or the Wuhan coronavirus, whatever you want to call it, uh, it's the environment, which is the big X factor. Because cut back to SARS 2003, China was emerging as an economic superpower, but in the past 15, 20 years or so since then, there has been just a rapid economic expansion and an establishment of China on the world stage. That has meant much, much more travel inside China and, and more importantly, outside of China. So the number of international air routes that are now moving in and out of China are three times as high as, as many as there were in the, in the days of SARS. So you can just think about the magnitude of routes by which the pathogen can spread. That has opened up the environment in really unpredictable ways and it makes it a lot more difficult to track and ultimately a lot more difficult to control. The real issue here is that we don't know where all the cases are. Um, it seems like there are pretty good measures in place in a number of um, countries that have really sophisticated uh, public health and healthcare systems, but that's not every country. Not every country has the resources of a country like the United States um, to be able to do mass levels of surveillance on all incoming uh, travelers and to be able to to identify and then potentially even have the facilities to quarantine people who are infected. The real question is whether these countries that have less well-resourced healthcare systems are first able to identify infections, and secondly, if they're able to identify all the infections, whether they have even appropriate resources or, or, or facilities to, to properly quarantine people. And that will determine, I think, largely whether uh, the coronavirus keeps on spreading or not.